Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. If you just checked out my last video of my mail day, um, you see that I've picked up these packets of Upper Deck Jordan milk caps. I got these off Facebook Marketplace. Um, I've never seen them before actually, until I saw the listing and then I was like, oh, what is that? I used to absolutely love Pogs back in the 90s. Um, not so much for playing the game, which is probably sad, but just for collecting all the different designs. Um, I absolutely used to love it. I think I've still got them somewhere. But these, mixing basketball and pogs together, I really wish I'd known these were about in the 90s. Although whether they ever came out in the UK is a different story, isn't it? Um, these packs you can see were originally from Walmart, and then whoever's bought them and sold them on. So, yeah, it's Monday. The last couple of episodes of The Last Dance are on Netflix tonight. So I thought I'd open these up and have a look in honour of the man himself. So each pack contains four mil caps and one slammer. Collect all 54. Like other than having a quick look up at them online, I'm not really 100% sure what to expect. Um, pack contains a random sort of Michael Jordan mil caps numbered 1 to 54, randomly inserted. So we might get slammers and silver mil caps. Odds of finding a slammer, one to one. Odds of finding a silver, one to one. So I'm quite excited. So let's crack into them. Let's hope they're all okay in there. They've obviously been in there since 95. It's quite a while. Let's have a look. So we've got game instructions. And slammer checklist. And where you can find them. Show you where, where to find the complete Jordan slammer set. So we've got starter packs, four packs. Let's get these out. So we'll start off our first slammer. Number 45. Obviously the last, either the last episode or second last episode that we watched I had Jordan in the 45 when he came back from playing baseball. So that's cool. Let's first out the pack. Let's have a look at these. Yeah, I don't think they're damaged, they're just a little bit dusty I think. So what's that? Number 35 in the pack. I think this one is a bit damaged. It looks like they've been stuck together. Not too bad, just over someone's arm. I'm calling a foul on that one, guys. I think that one's just dusty. Ooh, and then we've got a silver one. Nice. So it's a little bit more shiny. Yeah, and these ones have got the S on. It's number six. These are really cool. So I'm gonna line them up down there and have a look. We'll finish. Second pack. So we've just got the slammer check list again. See what we've got this time. MJ. Another very cool one. I'm going straight in with the silver one this time. MJ. These with a 45 jersey on. These ones look like they're in a little bit better condition than the last pack. These are just very cool. Just 
cargo balls. Let's see slammer number 15 out of the set. These aren't too heavy. Um, nice sort of metallic feel. So I was going to say we've got a duplicate, but the other one was a silver, wasn't it? So we've got the regular version of that one now. Number 21 in the set. And here's the silver. Nice. Very cool. If that was a duplicate one, but that's all right. The slammer, we've got the big 45. The alternate number that Jordan played in briefly when he came back. It can be much in the documentary, you know, that you decide to wear 45 when he came back because it was going to be the first time that he played since his dad died, I believe, and he didn't want. And to play in 23 it was obviously really painful for Jordan um, so he wore a different number to mitigate that a bit it didn't last very long before he was straight back in that 23 though what point in going on these ones are a little bit damaged not too badly just some white dots That one a bit more so around the edges, but oh, this one's gonna be the shiny. It's got a couple of scratches in it down there, but still nice. Back in that two, three. Last couple of packs. It'd be nice if we could get all different slammers, but you know me, I'll probably just jinx myself there and we're probably going to get that first slammer duplicate now. Let's see what we got. Yep, <laughs> there we go. Number 15. Chicago Bulls logo. Still cool though, no complaints. Let's see if the slammers are different. Oh, no, these ones are really stuck together. Oh, have a look at these other two first and come back. Oh, shiny one from this one. Or silver, I think they call it. <laughs> they, I keep holding them down here because that's where my arms would naturally sit. <laughs> I keep needing to remember to hold it up for the camera properly. Oh, what do I do guys? Do I just pull these and hope for the best? Oh. Oh. oh, look at that. Sadly they're stuck together while they're in the packet. Yeah. You quite right look angry about that, Mike. At least they all haven't been like that. That would have been a bit of a nightmare. They've just got six packets of stuck together milk packs. Hey, another one. Another one, the Bulls 45 jerseys. It's our last pack, see what we get. Oh, no. another two are stuck together. Oh. Is that a silver one? That one's in good condition. The 
see see if these ones oh, it's gonna go right through the middle of the picture this time I think That kind of sucks. Again, yeah, Mike, you've got a good good reason to be looking grumpy there. It's definitely would have had this one. Sorry, I think the video on my phone cut out there. Um, but yeah, those are the last two there. I'll just put them down and I'll give you guys a quick look what we got all together. So these are the slammers. It's such a cool set. A couple of duplicates, but not too bad. And these are the shiny ones along the bottom there. That's quite a cool thing. Never seen them before. Glad I picked them up. It's cool to rip into them and see what we got. Such a shame that some of them were stuck together, but like I say, they've been in a pack since 1995. So <laughs> we're probably quite lucky that some of them made it out in decent condition. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know which is your favourite Jordan Pog or Milk Carp. Um, I'll have some more videos soon. Thanks again for watching.